I've been lucky enough to have been working on it for about four years now. And, you know, after all the things I've worked on, this, this represents the pinnacle of anything I've ever been involved with. It's just the most amazing project and the most amazing team of people. I can't believe all the incredible people that are making this whole vision come to life. Every time I play a video game, the sound uh, enhances the experience so much. And I was so glad to be a part of the audio team at Avalanche because we can enhance that experience and make such a great, memorable thing for the players. This job of writing music for something just lifts the whole thing. It's already a good game, but the music, I think, takes it to another level, makes it fantastic. We wanted to make Hogwarts Legacy our own. We wanted to put our own stamp and our own brand on it. You can hear it in the music. Not only does it sound new and fresh, it's nostalgic. You know, I wanted to harken back to like nostalgia factors. That was the biggest thing for me was, I feel like today's game scores, it's a lot of texture based kind of scores. And so I want to bring back the, you know, heroic kind of fanfares of trumpets or, you know, melodic elements, you know, with the violins and kind of bring back the magic and the childlike awe and wonder. The one thing we felt like is that the brilliance of John Williams is Hedwig's theme. He hadn't even seen the movie and he wrote that incredible piece of music where the celeste and the violins is so brilliant and it just sounds like magic. I suppose the biggest factor for the scores was trying to help it fit in with the other music that we have for the Harry Potter films. We were thinking about the idea that what if there was an older melody of lore that might have been an earlier version of Hedwig's. And so the ancient magic melody kind of grew out of that idea to say, what if it could be a relative of Hedwig's theme? You just hear a little bit of something recognizable. Um, and I think that that just uh, makes the experience a bit more fun. And I think it's a perfect fit. It fits really well. It can be kind of tricky to know what to write, to know what notes to play. Some of these darker moments, they, they're balanced with uh, some real beautiful music. And so the music does go through quite a shift. It, it goes from big, powerful combat music to very slow, very emotional strings. Not every moment in the game has music, not every moment in every film has music, but when you need it, it makes all the difference. I have to say, this is the most challenging thing I've ever been involved with, just because of where you know the music has been going, where there's so many variations and options and things that we're exploring and the creative direction on this. We have to account for every single action that the player can do while music is playing. So for example, if you're out in the overland and you want to mount or fly, we have to consider that the player can do that within a mission or they might start a mission or they might enter a cavern or they might enter a building or a shop and music we want to be dynamic and change through all those different experiences and we had to account for all that and every single thing that the player could possibly do in the game. You got to transition all these scores and hopefully they all kind of blend together, right? And so that's the really difficult part as opposed to linear film, you know, linear storytelling, it's like you have to put in a lot of different music to make that magic and the ancient magic theme and all those themes really match the whole feeling of these different moments in the game. That's been, you know, just such a collaborative effort. We had to make every area interesting and there are places like the herbology area or the common rooms that we have custom music for just to make that exploration and that kind of newfound area more special and more important to the player. Writing all the different common rooms, you had to infuse all the different characteristics of each one of those. And I studied up on all those different houses. And how do you make that and infuse that into a score? We've tried a lot of unique things that we've never tried before in anything else that we've worked on. One instrument that we were looking for a giant piece of sheet metal, and we're calling it a thunder sheet. And so you'll hear in the ancient magic theme that you'll hear the thunder sheets coming into almost like waves of emotion coming in. 
And then that combined with another really unique instrument called the water phone, it just makes these sounds that literally sound like magic. We care so much about the music and the time that we spent on each individual little granular part of the mission and each score that is associated with it kind of speaks for itself. Every note, every chord progression, every chord, every harmonic structure, everything, I pour so much into that. It takes the best elements from the films and it adds something new. And so it'll be familiar and feel like it fits and is at home in the Harry Potter wizarding world. I love the team that I'm working with. I love this project. I'm so proud of what everyone's done. And, and like to me, like last night, some of the people we were talking about with the orchestra, we had the orchestra over at the studio and I had comments saying like, you know, this was probably one of the greatest moments in my life, you know, working through these scores and getting together as a team, just the spirit of everyone there together. Thank you so much. And thank you to the fans, really, because without the fans, this wouldn't even be possible. I just feel so lucky. Thank you to everyone who's made this happen.